Hey, it's Josh with Mobile Tech Videos. Today we'll be talking about how to switch from Edge to 3G and 3G to Edge on the Samsung Captivate. Uh, this also may apply to other Galaxy S devices. Okay, so one of the biggest gripes about the Samsung Captivate is the lack of toggle switch to switch from Edge to 3G. This is especially annoying when we're in situations where we'd like to conserve battery or we know that we can get a better edge connection than the 3G connection that we currently have, such as an example of being close enough to a tower to connect to 3G, but not really close enough to achieve full bandwidth to even download pages or, or use applications that use data. So, well, the first thing we want to do is go into our contacts and set up contact for this phone number. Um, we've called ours 3G 2G, and if you click it, you can see that we've inserted the number provided in the More Info section. This is going to help us remember the number without having to mentally store it. We can actually just use a contact. From here, we want to open the phone, and the first three digits are all you'll need to remember to reference this, or you can use the 3G um, uh, text by typing in a uh, three and the four for G. But we're gonna we're gonna type in star pound star. That's gonna reference the contact we created, and we're gonna be able to complete this by looking at it. So pound one nine seven three two eight six four zero pound star pound star. Okay, so now we've got this menu. We want to choose option one for debug screen, option eight for phone control option 4 for UE state control and currently we're on the G network which is the edge network so in order to switch to 3G because we know we're in a 3G area we would type in WCDMA by pressing this button so we've pressed that we lost our edge connection phone shot up because we're no longer on a data connection and now we're just gonna wait it out until we see the 3G um, in order to get back, just use the back key, or you can use the settings button and press back to navigate back through the menus uh, if you wanted to change anything else. So we're going to wait on our 3G. It can take about 30 seconds to really do it all. And there's our 3G. Uh, keep a note that this change will not hold if you reboot the phone or put the phone into flight mode. If you put the phone into flight mode, you're going to lose this setting and you'll have to revert to it. Uh, but for now, that's a great way to switch from Edge to 3G. Let's go ahead and test with our browser to verify that we've got uh, our web up and working. Here's Google Images and we've loaded our images. So that is how to switch from Edge to 3G and 3G back to Edge using the advanced phone controls and storing a contact with that information. Please check out mobiletechvideos.com for more information and tech tips. Check out our other videos if you have a chance uh, as you'll find useful information there. And as always, good luck.